Welcome to Electric Vehicles and this is Pavan, Pavan Kumar and I am back again with interesting way episode of Bounce Infinity E1 customer review. Now let's welcome Mr. Suresh. Hello friends. Now Mr. Suresh is with us to share his experience on his uh, Bounce Infinity E1 electric scooter. Actually he clocked 450 kilometers with this Bounce Infinity E1 uh, electric scooter. So hello Mr. Suresh, how are you? Good, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. First of all, welcome to our Electric Vehicles Thank channel. You. And uh, so you have uh, purchased this Bounce Infinity E1 electric, sc electric scooter, right? So uh, how many months it's been uh, purchasing this uh, electric scooter? So after purchasing, we used uh, almost uh, for two, three weeks. Two, three weeks, okay. Yeah. So in Less within two, three weeks only, you have clocked 450 kilometers? 450 kilometers we clocked, yes. Uh, right, uh, that's a good thing. And at uh, exactly what price you have purchased this vehicle? So we purchased this for uh, 87,500. At the time of booking, we paid 500 rupees. Okay, and remaining that means uh, pre-booking? Yeah. Hmm. At the time of booking, 500 we paid. And uh, for the final payment, uh, we paid 87,000. Okay. And after that, uh, we got the delivery immediately. Okay. So, uh, how much time it, will, it it has taken to deliver this vehicle? So, within a few days, uh, they delivered it. Well, it like is like uh, anyone who is making full payment. Okay. So, they made the delivery immediately. So, you have made the full payment, like a, yes. a full cash, right? Yeah. Somewhere in April, uh, we made the full payment. Okay. And uh, in May, we got the delivery. So, Suresh, uh, you have said that uh, you have paid 87,000 rupees, right? Is it uh, with subsidy or without subsidy? With subsidy. So with subsidy, you have got this vehicle for 87,500. Okay, well coming to the charge, uh, charging point of this vehicle, like uh, how much time it will taking uh, to charge this vehicle? So for full charge, it is taking four hours. Four hours. Yeah. And the company is claiming that it is having a range of 85 kilometers, right? So yeah. have you ever tested that range? So yes, uh, indeed we tested the vehicle mm -hmm. and when we are following the same, uh, not the instruction but guidelines, mm -hmm. so like uh, with single person mm -hmm. and no incline, we are, okay. yes we are getting the same mileage or same range. So almost you are getting, yes, the, we same are getting the same range. range. And also the company is saying that it is having a claimed uh, top speed of uh, 65 km kmph speed, right? Yes. So uh, have you ever tested that? Yes, when we are using power mode, mm -hmm. we are getting 65 Okay. and obviously for eco we are getting 39. Okay. That is the maximum speed. Maximum speed yes. in, in eco mode. Eco mode. It is also having a drag mode, right? May I know what is it mean? So when uh, vehicle condition is like not usable, not okay. in use or something like we need to uh, push it to the next uh, center, service center, okay. next location mm -hmm. where we can get the service. Okay. So we can use the uh, drag mode. Mm -hmm. So the speed is very limited up mm -hmm. to five or six. Uh, and uh, mostly this will be useful when we see a puncture uh, for the tires. Right. So at times uh, it is useful. I think it is uh, tubeless only, right? Tubeless, but if we see any yes. condition like uh, we need to take the service center, but mm -hmm. not in uh, service mode like tires or any other uh, issues. issues if you are facing, then yes, we can use the drag mode for daily purpose. Yes, it is not that much useful. Uh, so only daily we, we need to use eco uh, or power uh, mode. Eco and power, power mode yeah. only, right? Yeah. And uh, okay, and the next question is about uh, boot space. Yeah. How many liters of boot space it has and is it comfortable to you? The given boot space is uh, 12 liters and uh, we can keep the single helmet. Okay. So we will not be expecting much, hmm. but uh, given one is useful. Actually, what's your height? Uh, 511. 511. Yeah. So is it boot space comfortable to you or your knee will touch it this way? So uh, it is like 50-50 a bit comfortable, okay. uh, but not like regular vehicles. Right. Yeah. So it, it sometimes it's comfortable and sometimes it's when we are single yes uh, we can ride the vehicle easily mm -hmm. but when we are like two members mm -hmm. on the vehicle then yes a bit I need to adjust myself and <laughs> then I need to drive. Okay and have you ever uh, went for any kind of uh, long trips like picnics and all? Oh we did not try as of now. Okay yeah. and also have you ever visited your hometown and where uh, we are having uh, country roads? So in that village roads, have you ever tested this vehicle? Yeah, not on the city roads, we drive in uh, different uh, types of roads, uh, uh, even uh, village roads and okay. which are not proper also, okay. but we did not face any challenge. Hmm. So 
ride vehicle is uh, riding properly. So yeah. it's it's going good. Yeah, going good, and we don't have any issues oh, okay. on any type of road. Yes, okay. And uh, have you ever uh, tried this vehicle under rainy conditions? Have you ever uh, travelled uh, when it is raining? So not heavy rains, but uh, the usual uh, rains that are happening are that we are seeing now. Mm -hmm. So we did not face any challenge. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Uh, in the month season or our rainy season, we need to see how it uh, works exactly. Like uh, in Banjar Isles and uh, Jubilee Isles, we need to have uh, slant roads, right? Yeah. So, have you ever tested this vehicle while uh, going there traveling? Yeah, actually, that is the main uh, criteria when we buy the vehicle. We look for and we uh, uh, test it, like whether yep. it is useful, I mean, whether it is working or not, rightly or not. Mm. But uh, uh, thankfully, it is working. Mm. So, when we tested and the roads are uh, inclined, mm. um, yes, it is perfectly working and no issues for that. So Suresh, uh, is this vehicle is having uh, cruise control? Yes, it is having cruise control. Mm -hmm. uh, when we set the speed 35, 40, so based on that, yes, it functions accordingly. So is it uh, functioning good? Yes, cruise uh, is working good. Mm -hmm. yep. You said uh, it will take uh, uh, almost four hours to charge this vehicle, right? Yes. How much amount of uh, electricity is uh, consuming to charge this vehicle? To recharge 100%, uh, exactly we did not measure it, but uh, it is uh, somewhere between 1.5 to 2 units. It is uh, utilizing. So, for month, almost on fuel saving, how much you are saving on fuel? Like uh, you are using this only, right? So, if you are using regularly, uh, minimum we will save more than uh, 1000 to 200, 2000. Per month? Yeah. Per month, per month you yeah. are saying uh, 1 to 2000. Yeah. Uh, for, yeah, uh, the, as, as, per the yeah as per if the usage. Yeah, as per If anyone is using more than this, yes, they can say more. Mm, okay. So, in Hyderabad area, like uh, Hyderabad uh, traffic conditions, uh, for uh, any vehicle, we need to have good pickup, right? Yes. So, as we are using this, have you faced any issue? Like, uh, is it lagging or is it comfortable to you? So, as of now, we don't see any challenges. Uh, mm. If required, based on the uh, traffic conditions and the road, uh, we can switch on the modes, eco mm. and power. Okay. So, when we are adjusting and using those two modes, yes, we can uh, use it properly. Okay. And you spent almost 87,000 rupees. Yep. And is it value for money? Uh, when we compare the futures mm. and uh, even when we look into the market also. Mm. So we have so many brands, but for yes. the money that we paid, mm. uh, we are getting the best vehicle, I can say. Uh, when we compare with the futures and the price, yes, whatever the price that we've paid and futures are justified for that okay and till now you have clocked almost uh, 450 kilometers right yeah. in these 450 kilometers journey have you faced any bad experience with this uh, scooter uh, not exactly bad experience but one thing we need to be habituated like uh, we need to more comfortable on the reverse mode actually yes so we need to uh, switch on the reverse mode and uh, apply the the yellow one mm -hmm. yellow button okay. so initially it takes some time yes uh, so the moment you are very well versed and uh, habituated with the mm -hmm. uh, switching everything properly then yes uh, it looks okay and good mm -hmm. but for initial initial days so it is like okay <laughs> uh, it should be it should be in a, another way okay. for reverse mode mm -hmm. And coming to servicing part, uh, so what kind of services do showroom uh, persons are offering for you? So when we hit uh, 6,000 kilometers, uh, so they mentioned like uh, they will take the vehicle uh, for the service. Okay. So at that time, maybe uh, they will check everything, wheels hmm. and the motor, the important things they will check. Okay. Anything needed, yes, uh, they will uh, do the service and uh, provide, give it to us. Right. Is it having um, on-road uh, assistance? Yes, it is having on-road assistance. So mm. we so anything happens did also not, they uh, utilize that. Mm. But yes, they said that they claimed it is there. Right. Okay. So uh, is, this vehicle is available with battery option and without battery option. Yes. As uh, they are having uh, battery swapping stations yes, kind of uh, plan, right? Yes. So is this uh, with battery or without battery? So this one we purchased with battery. Mm. Yes, uh, battery swapping facility is there. Mm. So even they had a tie-up. Recent news is there. Yes. Uh, so they had a tie-up with HPCL. HPCL. And once that is uh, mm -hmm. uh, implemented, yes, we can use that option as well. All right. So f uh, as of now, there is no uh, that kind of. Uh, yeah, as of now, we did not utilize, and uh, there is no option like mm -hmm. that. Uh, right. Maybe we need to see when Hyderabad will get that. And also, it is comfortable with uh, battery swapping, right? Yes. The battery will come like that only. Like, like no, for regular regular commuters, uh, mm -hmm. that option will be useful. Uh, that's what I think. Mm -hmm. So, is this your first vehicle or have you ever uh, tried other electric vehicle? Electric vehicle, I am just asking you. In electric, yes, this is the first vehicle. Okay. So, you have not tried any other vehicle? 
we tried but uh, as i said like uh, the futures hmm. and the price that we are paying so hmm. we thought this is the best one right yeah. okay so we'll coming to the performance uh, so you already use some kind of uh, petrol uh, vehicles right yeah. so if you compare that petrol vehicles and these electric uh, especially these bounce infinity e1 vehicle so how is the performance so exactly we cannot compare but uh, the riding features and options here it is different mm. and that is different mm. but when uh, once when we use it to it mm. maybe after a week and after 10 days of period like uh, uh, we will be having that comfort yes. and even will uh, get that performance and everything also like mm. right like coming to features what kind of features they are offering with this vehicle so mainly as is mentioned like uh, battery swapping is one of the main element they mentioned mm -hmm. and within this scooter we have cruise and uh, even drag mode also okay. uh, cruise control and drag mode and uh, for the range mm -hmm. uh, we get uh, when we are using eco whatever the range they mentioned they claimed we will get it and uh, for the power we get lesser than that mm -hmm. and futures again uh, using mobile also we can uh, so uh, see is the it, charge is this vehicle having app connectivity yes app connectivity is there so mm -hmm. using mobile we can see what is the battery percent percentage uh, mm -hmm. that is there now and when we put that for charging so at that time also what is the charging current charging and remaining range also we can see okay. and gps location where it is parked mm -hmm. uh, so even that also uh, we can see in the mobile app all right yeah. so we can monitor the status of the vehicle uh, with our mobile phone only when, yes when, when the basic we details we'll get in the mobile phone all right yeah. okay like uh, uh, how much charging is left yes how and much charging and leftover range okay uh, and if you are uh, charging the vehicle then what is the percentage of uh, charging current all right yeah. so if i ask you to rate this vehicle uh, out of five how many stars will give you for this so i'll give you four um, mm -hmm. once we get even uh, remaining swapping and all those uh, maybe uh, rating will be increased so right? one star has lost uh, just because of uh, it's not uh, having a battery swapping not exactly that but uh, we need to see uh, because this is too early to rate also mm -hmm. uh, once we complete maybe 3 4 months then we'll come to know exactly everything is functioning okay. and the quality of uh, every component mm -hmm. so based on that range <laughs> Uh, we can see yes okay and uh, if i ask you to suggest someone uh, like anyone whom do you suggest this? so for those uh, uh, who are looking like within 1 lakh hmm. and uh, the best futures okay uh, currently whatever the brands are there are available in the market so this is one uh, they can go for okay yeah. so after this review our uh, this video will be published and if anyone with uh, after uh, seeing your video can they blindly purchase this vehicle with, uh, based would, on your I would, review I, I would not say blindly but uh, it is uh, everyone's approach and the requirements are different mm -hmm. so according to my requirements uh, i say this is meeting the requirements okay, okay. but if someone is having just uh, uh, it is good if they are having the test ride okay. and if they are checking the requirements mm -hmm. also okay. if they are uh, using for daily purpose or mm -hmm. weekly purpose based on that okay they can uh, go for it yeah. so are you expecting any kind of uh, other improvements that need to be there in this vehicle uh, only one thing i felt like um, it is not possible now but if they are uh, making something like version 2 or updated one yes. maybe uh, this room should be increased uh, okay food like. space food space yeah. uh, right okay and uh, if i ask you what are the positives and negatives of this vehicle what do you say so positives i mentioned like um, according to the price uh, this is like best one okay. whatever the features that we are getting and the negative is again uh, only one thing and even boot space, uh, boot space also mm. uh, small because if you are getting uh, furthermore mm. not 12 liters furthermore uh, and it will be useful for everyone right and according to the futures uh, as i mentioned like reverse mode mm. it takes some time to habituate so these are negatives yes. and positives if you look at the positives uh, uh, cost efficient and uh, quality also good mm. and all the features useful and when we look for the cons mm. yes um, boot space and uh, foot space also should be increased even mm. uh, in night uh, at nights we see like the light that is coming is not sufficient thank you thank you very much mr suresh for Welcome. your uh, time and valuable information Welcome. Later. Mm. so that's all for now guys uh, mr suresh is saying that this vehicle is having uh, some uh, some issues uh, like uh, as he is a 5.11 uh, feet height he is not comfortable with, uh, with these food space uh, for uh, for the normal persons like us it will be okay uh, not good and not bad also 
and and also he is expecting some more features as he is spending uh, 87,000 rupees and that's what is overall experience with this vehicle. So guys if you want to appreciate our effort in presenting this video please give it a big thumbs up and also share this video to your friends and family members. For more such videos please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get instant notifications whenever we upload the video. Until then go green go electric.